Again, that's for sure, on a cooler Monday, but I got a funny feeling things are going to change pretty soon. I mean, yeah. it has to, right? Yeah, I was going to say, it can happen Please. soon enough because right. it doesn't feel like June anymore, Jen. Get the pools ready. Yeah. Just not quite yet, but it is in the forecast, so at least that's some good news. Good evening to you. We have high pressure that'll be clearing these clouds out, but that doesn't happen probably until later on tomorrow. We do have the cloudy night for tonight, maybe even a little sprinkle too, uh, pockets of drizzle, and temperatures will continue to fall. We have lows overnight and to start your morning off tomorrow, dropping down even some mid 40s for areas south, as you can see near 50 uh, for Buffalo and Niagara Falls and still those clouds probably in place for the first half of tomorrow. Then we'll see a gradual clearing late in the day, some sunshine in there to finish off your Tuesday and then another cool night expected for Tuesday night and to once again start Wednesday off. We'll have lows mid 40s once again south, some low 50s north, but Highs will be finally back to average, if not a few degrees above that. Highs nicely in the 70s, mid 70s, even with mostly sunny skies by Wednesday afternoon. So looking forward to that midweek is looking pretty good. All right, wider shot here. So that high pressure system going to come in and clear out those clouds. Beautiful for Wednesday. And then we'll probably squeeze out another nice day Thursday before we'll watch another system. We'll see area of low pressure will bring us an associated cold front, bringing us some showers and maybe some thunderstorms arriving for later Thursday night. But the forecast leaves were mainly dry until then. Just that maybe some isolated sprinkles is all a drizzle for as we head into tonight into the first part of Tuesday. Then we'll have that gradual clearing. Temperatures still running below average by about 10 degrees for tomorrow, but then we're increasing nicely with those temperatures temperatures even approaching 80 degrees by Thursday. We'll have some sunshine Wednesday, probably at least into the first part of Thursday before the temperatures cool off slightly to finish off the week into the weekend. But we'll still keep those 70s around then with temperatures increasing once again. All right, that's in the seven day right now. As you can see, though, tonight's forecast, still those cloudy conditions in place, low temperatures in the 40s. So we're running almost 10 degrees below average with the high and low temperatures as we head into tomorrow. Highs in the mid 60s. We'll have those cloudy conditions at least into the first part of tomorrow, but then decreasing clouds, partly sunny finish to the day uh, later afternoon, and then partly clear skies for Tuesday night. Another chilly night and to start off Wednesday, but at least highs will feel that difference and also those levels of humidity increasing as well. Mid 70s, in fact, for Wednesday's high temperatures under those partly to mostly sunny skies. Seven day forecast. All right, so we're going to have another dry day expected for Thursday. So the next few days looking all right with a gradual warming trend, even approaching 80 for Thursday. Then we have that frontal boundary coming through right now. It's timing later Thursday evening. Some showers and some thunderstorms carry us into the first part of Friday. We'll see slightly cooler temperatures, but still hanging on to those 70s Friday into Saturday. But the weekend, I mean, looks beautiful. Overall, I mean, 70s, even some 80s, partly to mostly sunny skies, and we'll probably keep that warmth around into the first part, at least, of next week. All right, let's check on sports now with John Scott. Hey there.